Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 13, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation. And as I mentioned yesterday, I think that we're going to test the 300 moving average, and it's fairly likely at this point that that is going to happen. 300 moving average is down here at the 95. We had a horrible day in the stock market today. Most tech stocks got absolutely hammered. The, the as Nasdaq's nearly down 3%, um, 2.8%, I think it closed that. And, um, and yes, most of the stocks that are basically in this ETF were absolutely hammered, also Tesla. So I think that 300 is going to be the floor. If the 300 moving average breaks, then we are looking at something that basically breaks completely. Uh, significantly the downside. I don't think that the Nasdaq is going to uh, cross the 200 moving average. It's probably going to drop to the 200 move, moving average, which will be another 5% to drop. Uh, but crossing the 200 moving average is not something I th think that is going to happen now. We're just going to witness witness. A major pullback and then we are continue rallying as we're still technically in technically an uptrend we have been fallen since the beginning of the year but but this is kind of the bottom of the market after this we'll probably see this continue back to the upside as things are starting to become cheap so if you look at technical indicators we can see that we are very overstretched here we uh, in the bullish band uh, we are also significantly oversold and technical indicators are looking dreadful. So pullbacks or continuation of this bearish momentum towards the 300 moving average is something I think that is going to continue. If we were to rally from here, then we'll most likely find major resistance at the 200 moving average right here at 113. So let's look at DVI. So DVI, DVI just got hammered today and hit the middle of the Bollinger Band. And this is... Well, probably going to be as far as this will go. We could go further. We could drop like something similar to this. But uh, yes, it'll be if we drop further from here, then the 40 exponential will probably be as far as this will go. If we drop below that, then we have the 50 and then we're approaching really close to the bottom of the bullish band. And we actually been there since uh, this was back in. Well, this is all the way back in January, 19th of January, where we basically fell towards the bottom of the bullish band. So it is possible. Um, this was a massive warning that we were going to drop significantly lower, and uh, we did. So um, yes, if you look at technical indicators, they are favoring the downside. So we could see this drop uh, towards the 50 moving average, but uh, that is probably as far as this will go. If we drop below the 50 moving average, then we'll drop all the way down to the 100 moving average, and that's a drop of 9%. I don't see market dropping that much um, in the coming in the coming uh, weeks. So uh, to the upside, if we manage to take out this candlestick here, which probably is a few weeks away from now, then we are going to head towards the upper trend line. So let's look at VTI. Same goes for VTI. It is it got absolutely hammered here, but uh, pullback at this point is kind of expected. This is significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. And uh, yes, I would not be surprised if we saw a pullback towards at least the previous highs here up at uh, 213. We broke the 50 moving average and um, we have done that in basically in the past right here and have rallied significantly afterwards. However, technical indicators are favoring the downside. But due to the fact that we're so overstretched here in the bullish band, I I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a pullback at the beginning of uh, of tomorrow's session. So let's look at MCHI. So we did have a really good day yesterday, and today we broke down yet again. We're down 1.2%. We are still significantly overstretched, oversold. However, technical indicators are very bearish. It may well be that we're heading towards the 300 moving average down here at the 75. That would be a drop of roughly 4.16% to the downside. Um, but I will probably have pullbacks before then due to the fact that we are so overstretched here and also oversold. 
but it looks like the 300 moving average is going to be the target of this market. If we rally uh, from here, then we'll most likely have significant resistance at 81, which is the 200 moving average. So let's look at IBB. So IBB also got absolutely crushed today. We dropped towards the 50 moving average at 406. We get significantly outside of the bullish band here, so pullback should be expected. At least a little bit, little bit of pullback in towards the, uh, basically above the lower part of the bullish band. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. We have still a lot of room to the downside. So 50 moving average could break. That will open the door to the 100 moving average, and that's a drop of roughly 3.25%. So yes, that is possible. We did break below the 50 moving average here, but we did not touch it today. So we'll see basically what happens tomorrow. To the upside, 40, 20 exponential, 415 should be acting as resistant at this point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.